everyone. Shillong Commerce College welcomes you to the national webinar on National Education Policy 2020, a paradigm shift. NEP 2020 replaces the national policy on education framed in 1986 and modified in 1992, and several changes have taken place since then. NEP 2020 is built on the foundational pillars of access, equity, quality, affordability, and accountability. This is aligned to the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and aims to transform India into a vibrant knowledge society and global knowledge superpower by making school and college education more holistic, flexible, multidisciplinary, suited to 21st century needs and aimed at bringing out the unique capabilities of each student. With this national webinar, we hope that whatever is there in NEP 2020 will become clearer at the end of this said webinar. I now call upon our principal, Dr. SN, to kindly deliver the welcome address. Ma'am, your time. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah, we can hear you now. Yes. Um, a very good morning to all of you. It's indeed a very beautiful day today. Yesterday was raining and today it's a clear, bright sky in Shillong. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, a very good morning to one and all. Respected Chairperson, Dr. S. Kongvir, Reverend Professor YSR Murthy, Vice Chancellor, RB University, Bangalore. Respected Professor D. Prasad Punial, Pro Vice Chancellor, RB University, Bangalore. Honorable Professor C. Nongbri, Dean, School of Education, Northeastern Hill University, Shillong. Professor K. N. Subramania, Principal RB College of Engineering, Bangalore. Professor A. Mazumdar, esteemed Dean of, for Academic Affairs, Director of Academic, Academic Planning and Dean of Admissions and Outreach and University Benchmarking at Jindal Global University, Sonipat. Ms. Dr. Mosumi Mukherjee, Associate Professor and Deputy Director of International Institute for Higher Education, Research and Capacity Building, Member Secretary, JGU Research and Ethics Review Board. Respected President Sir, Doris Ma, members of the JB, uh, GB members of the college, learned academicians, implementers of the NEP 2020, principals and teachers of colleges, researchers, vice principals of the college, faculty members of Commerce Department, Samantha Passa, the technical expert of this seminar, reporters, students, and non-teaching staff. A very good morning once again to all of you. We, would, we are here gathered today to confer upon the new education policy 2020. New education policy is a policy which is for Pan-India but we here in the Northeast, we have our own problems, but we will have to sail along with the whole country if we have to march ahead. And I quote, the aim of education in ancient India was not just the acquisition of knowledge as preparation for life in this world or life beyond schooling, but for the complete realization and liberal liberalization of the self. I would like to go to the background of the NEP. The NEP 2020 replaces the National Policy on Education of 1986. In January 2015, a committee under the former Cabinet Secretary T.S.R. Subramaniam started the consultation process for the new education policy based on the committee report. In June 2017, the draft NEP was submitted in 2019 by a panel led by former Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, Chief 
uh, Krista Swami Kasturi Rangan. The draft new education policy 2019 was later released by Ministry of Human Resource Development, followed by a number of public consultations. T7, T74 draft NEP was 484 pages. The ministry undertook a rigorous consultation process in formulating the draft policy. Over 2 lakh suggestions from 2.5 lakh gram panchayats, 6,600 blocks, 6,000 urban lo local bodies, 676 districts were received. And then came the new education policy. India being a growing liberal country for educational reforms, currently, currently has about 845 universities, approximately 40,000 higher, uh, higher education institutions, reflecting the overall high fragmentation and many small sized higher educational institutions in the country, which are affiliated to these universities. It is found that over 40% of these small sized institutions are running single program against the expected reform to a multidisciplinary style of higher education, which is essential requirement for the educational reforms in the country for the 21st century. It is also noted that over 20% of the colleges have annual enrollment less than 100 students, making them non-viable to improve the quality of education, and only 4% of colleges enroll more than 3,000 students annually due to regional imbalance as well as the quality of education they offer. Some of the reasons found for the fragmentation of the higher education system in India are, it is predicted that India will be the third largest economy in the world by 2030, 2032, with estimated GDP of $10 trillion. It is evident that the 10 trillion economies will be driven by knowledge resources and not by the natural resources of the country. To boost the growth of the Indian education sector, the present government decided to revamp it by introducing a comprehensive national education policy 2020. This is in line with the Prime Minister's recent call on leveraging the fourth industrial revolution to take India to new heights. The currently introduced national education policy 2020 envisions an India-centered education system that contributes directly to transforming a nation sustainably into an equitable and vibrant knowledge society by providing high quality education to all. The most important changes that have been made in the new NEP 2020 are, HRD ministry now renamed as Ministry of Education, B, government proposed that its GDP investment in education is to be increased from 1.6% to 6%, C, the new policy is focusing on gross enrollment ratio, which will be increased to 50% by 2035. Now these changes can only be possible if we have a dynamic approach and therefore a holistic approach has been adopted and adapted, whereby academic, vocational and extracurricular activities has been given an equal footing. The full focus has been emphasized on the children of the country and in the fields and in their area of their interest so that when they leave school, they will be prepared to face the world with the help of the skills they have been trained with. NEP 2020 has introduced a new pedagogical and curricular structure in the school education system. 10 plus two board structure is being dropped now. New school structure will be five plus three plus three plus four, where early childhood education will be a part of formal education. It also focuses on reducing the curriculum content to make space for critical thinking and in turn develop individuals with 21st century skills instilled in them. Up to class five to be named as preschool, classes six to eight as mid school, classes eight to 11 as high school, classes 12 onwards to be considered as graduation. Sixth standard onwards, vocational courses will be available. From eight to 11 uh, students can choose subjects of their own interest. All graduation courses will have major and minor. 
choices will be given to the students. All higher education will be governed by only one authority. UGC, AICTE will be merged. All university, government, private, open, deemed, vocational, etc., will have the same grading and other rules. New teacher training board will be set up for all kinds of teachers in the country. No state can change it. The same level of accreditation to any college based on its ratings, autonomous rights, and funds. New basic learning program will be created by the government for parents to teach children up to three years at home and for preschool from the, year, from the age of three to six years. Multiple entries and exit from any course is possible now. An academic bank and credit system will be established for graduation for each year. A student will get some credits which he stroke she can utilize if he takes or she takes a break in the course and comes back again to complete the course. All school exams will be semester-wise held twice a year. The syllabus will be reduced to core knowledge of any subject only. More focus is laid on the students' practical and, and application knowledge. For any graduation course of a student, if a student completes only one year, he or she will get a basic certificate. If he completes two years, then he will get a diploma certificate. And if he completes full course, then he will get degree certificate. So no year of any student will be wasteful if he breaks the course in between. All the graduation course feed of all the universities will be governed by the civil authority with capping on each course. The education ministry is to be set up uh, a national mission, uh, is to set up a national mission on foundational literacy and numeracy. The responsibility for successful implementation of achieving the foundation of numeracy and literacy for all students till class three falls upon the states of India. The implementation is scheduled to be done by 2025. One of the merits of NEP 2020 possibly is the formation of the National Bank Promotion Policy in India, which will develop libraries and instill reading in the children. Parak National Education Policy is to be set up by the government. Special daytime boarding school, Bal Bhavans to be established in every state, every district in India. This boarding school will be used for participation in activities related to play, career, and art. Multidisciplinary education and research universities at par with the IITs and IIMs will be set up in the country. These are scheduled to be set up for introducing multidisciplinary academics. By the year 2030, it will be mandatory to have at least a four-year BA degree for joining the occupation of teaching. Medium of instruction section for some reason has received a lot of undue attention. However, the section remains fairly flexible to avoid all sorts of controversy. Half-baked understanding and market push towards English and paternal perception of quality could have led to this flexibility. Policy does not in any way thrust, force, or prefer any particular religion over the other and encourages learning multiple languages. It also recommends teaching foreign languages at secondary level. Policy also argues against uh, com commercialization of education. However, in the same breath allows for foreign universities to come to India. There has been significant increase in number of private universities by Indian, by Indian providers. If the idea is to increase competition, it does make sense. Targets and timelines of the NEP 2020. Here are the policy key targets as well as the deadlines set for some. The entire policy will be implemented by 2040. 
100% gross enrollment ratio from preschool to secondary level by 2030, teachers to be prepared for assessment reforms by 2030, common standards of learning in public and private schools, mission to focus on foundational numeracy and literacy of all students by grade three, universalization of early childhood care and education by 2030, vocational training for at least 50% learners by 2025. I will leave the approach of NEP 2020, its challenges and criticisms to the expert resource persons of this webinar, who will deal in greater details in their presentations. This document consists of 484 pages and indeed the time slot allotted to me is just not enough to discuss the whole policy here. And moreover, the experts, uh, the stakeholders are all there to implement it, to interpret it, and to put it into action. I end by quoting Aristotle who said, the roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. Thank you so much. Once again, welcome to Sri Lanka Commerce College, all the participants, all the resource persons from North and South India and Northeast India. Thank you so much. And I wish a happy deliberation of this webinar today. Thanks so much. Thank you, Madam Principal, for your welcome speech and for giving us an insight into NEP 2020. And now straight to the heart of the matter. We have with us Professor Krimimon Novri from the Department of Education, and she is also the Dean of the School of Education. Professor Nongbri needs no introduction, but as is customary, we will give you some information about her, which I think everybody knows, but well, it's customary, so here we go. Professor Krimimon Nongbri has a specialization in teacher education and the educational system. And in matters of experience, Professor Nongbri joined as lecturer in education SCERT Education Department, the government of Meghalaya in 1985. She joined as lecturer in the Department of Education, Nehru, Shillong, on the 18th January, 1997. She has undertaken a number of research projects, namely the recruitment of teachers in schools in Northeast India under NCTE New Delhi. She is, has taken up projects under the comprehensive study of dropout rates at the elementary level in Meghalaya under the aegis of the education department of the government of Meghalaya. She has done surveys on quality of DISE data of Meghalaya under education department, SSA, government of Meghalaya, then research-based monitoring under the Ministry of Human Resource Development, New Delhi. She has had PhD awarded students and under supervision are still four of them and her administrative responsibilities undertaken. She has been head of the Department of Education, Nehru, from 10-8-2013 to 9-8-2016, then from 1-7-2017 to 21-7-2019. She is currently Dean School of Education with effect from 22-7-19 till date. Academic affiliations. Professor Nongbu is a life member of 
the Council for Teacher Education, Pune, All India Association for Educational Technology, Assam Chapter, All India Research Association, New Delhi, Social Science Research Association, Chennai. She is a member of the Northeastern Hill University Teachers Association, Meghalaya Tribal Teachers Association of Nehru, governing body member of St. Mary's College of Teacher Education. She is also the monitoring coordinator of the monitoring institution Nehru for Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan for the state of Meghalaya. The list of Professor Nongri's publications is enviably inexhaustible, and I will not have the time to read them all. She has presented papers in conferences and seminars at the national as well as the international level. She has chaired various sessions in seminars and conferences. So for the technical session one, please welcome Professor Krimlimon Nongri. She will speak on NEP 2020 reforms for teachers. Professor Nongri, the time is all yours. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, thank you so much, uh, um, Sonita, Dr. Sonita, uh, uh, for that uh, nice, um, uh, you know, and warm uh, um, uh, introduction. In fact, uh, I don't deserve to be introduced, uh, you know. Anyway, uh, uh, respected, uh, uh, respected, uh, esteemed chairperson, Sonita, respected uh, uh, principal, Dr. Sonita, uh, sorry, Dr. Sabita Sen, honorable panelists, esteemed faculty of Shillong Commerce College, the GV members, and uh, uh, participants from uh, different parts of the country, let uh, dear students and ladies and gentlemen. It is, uh, I, I am extremely happy to be part of this very important program. And I thank uh, respected principals for having me, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you so much, madam. It is such a, it's such an honor and privilege to be part of this very important program, along with all the esteemed um, uh, panelists from different parts of the country. As no, Sonita has uh, rightly uh, uh, mentioned, uh, the, the topic or the title that I'm going to talk today is on uh, NEP 2020 and um, uh, the reforms for teacher. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to share the presentation, a very small uh, presentation. Uh, I hope uh, I will be able to do that. Is it visible? Is the slide visible? Yes, ma'am, it's visible. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Yes, so ma'am, it's visible. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, um, let me uh, start my, um, you know, my um, uh, discussion. Uh, uh, I uh, uh, personally thank uh, Dr. Sabita for that very, very, uh, uh, the introduction about, uh, you know, the NEP 2020. I was wondering, you know, um, how can I go to uh, teachers if uh, I have not uh, uh, spoken anything on NEP 2020? But uh, it is very good. Thank you, Madam, for that uh, very comprehensive, uh, uh, you know, introduction about NEP. It makes my, a uh, task simpler, you know, uh, to, to give this uh, presentation now. So uh, NEP 2020 and the reforms of teacher. First of all, I, I feel that uh, uh, before we discuss about uh, the um, NEP 2020, I want to take uh, to all of us to uh, the, the, the current challenge of uh, the teachers faced by teachers today. As we all know, 
uh, teachers make all the other profession possible. But unfortunately, the teaching professionals have been facing grave career-related challenges at multiple levels. On the career front, teachers generally stay in the same position for more than 10 to 20 years, which is a very long period. Uh, uh, teachers are also being paid very low and uh, naturally, being the teachers who are concerned with the uh, development of the all round development of the students, they have uh, high stress where they, uh, uh, you know, the work is 24 uh, uh, seven. So generally, uh, it is, it is, uh, there is also lack of mentorship and call it knowledge sharing of skills which are required for progressing along the career level. With the changing times, a teacher's role has transformed from that of a knowledge provider to a facilitator and a mentor. Unfortunately, teachers are not equipped with appropriate skill set for this new role. The national policy the National Education Policy 2020 has very clearly addressed these issues and concerns of teachers, where the focus is to ensure quality teachers at all levels of school education. Yeah. NEP 2020 has made recommendations to improve teachers' work condition, career management processes, professional development strategy, and so on and so forth. And it is also very uh, uh, understandable that uh, the end goal is to enhance every teacher's ability to understand each student's developmental needs proactively. This effort will require a significant update to a teaching professional job description requiring a different skill set altogether. Also new assessment methodology will be necessary to evaluate each teacher performance and students academic progress in a multidisciplinary environment. This methodologies will focus on 21st century skills and child-led teaching rather than mechanical teaching and road learning. The new education policy therefore strongly emphasize the critical, criticality of teacher education and acknowledge the reality of unmotivated Indian teachers. We all know that um, teachers, that existing teachers quit and seek other careers because of the, uh, the salary, and even talented young youth choose other attractive careers over teaching. So to, to, to bring, uh, you know, uh, uh, to, to, uh, to do away with this, the NEP recognized the power of uh, uh, teacher and importance of teacher and their role in, um, in the education system. Recognizing the power of teacher the National Education Policy 2020 puts teacher at the center of the fundamental reforms in the education system. It has put in place systematic reforms that would help teaching emerge as an attractive profession of choice for bright and talented young minds. It proposes several reforms to empower teachers and restore the high respect and status to this profession, hoping that it would eventually attract the best minds and talents to choose teachings as their profession. Therefore, NEP aims to support and nurture teachers through all phases of their tenure. These are education and preparation, recruitment, which is deployment and transfer, and professional development. When it comes to education and preparation, 
And the NEP recognized that the teacher will require training in high quality content as well as pedagogy. It advocates that in place of standalone multidisciplinary higher education institution, it's also important to provide blended and all ODL modes of teaching to students in remote areas. As colleges and universities will move towards becoming multidisciplinary by 2030, they will also aim to house outstanding education departments that offer BF, MF, and PhD degrees in education. Besides, um, you know, um, besides um, 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 taking away or uh, phasing out uh, the standalone teacher education institution, the uh, NPE also speaks on uh, rearranging doctoral degree courses with introduction of many initiatives. Nice. So compulsory introduction of credit-based courses and teaching, actual teaching experience during course, credible evaluation and change in eligibility criteria, introduction of credit-based courses in teaching, which is very important, irrespective of any discipline the, the students has to take, um, you know, teaching as a, a P, uh, as one of the paper for PhD entrance as the PhD coursework. Another thing which is very important is the actual teaching experience during the course, which, uh, you know, a um, number of hours of actual teaching uh, experience, which will be gathered through uh, different means of teaching in the institution, education, uh, in the teacher education institutions will be um, necessitated for all PhD entrants. And there is also the changes in eligibility for PhD programs. Admission to PhD programs shall require either a master degree, which is the, the, the existing uh, requirement which we have in the, in the university. But besides a uh, master degree or uh, a master degree, the requirement can be also a four year bachelor degree with research. Hence, a four year bachelor degree with research can pursue PhD without having PhD degree. And um, the, the um, NEP 2020 also suggested that the MPhil program shall be discontinued. Besides uh, the, the uh, portion, this is very important for uh, across the discipline, that is the National Research Foundation. NEP proposes to set up a National Research Foundation to fund outstanding peer-reviewed research and to actively seed research in universities and colleges. The primary activities of the National Research Foundation will be to fund competitive peer-reviewed grant proposal of all types and across all disciplines and seed, grow, and facilitate research at academic institutions, particularly at the universities and colleges where research is currently in budding stage. And uh, um, another uh, very important uh, uh, recommendation is also the scholarship will be provided to um, um, deserving students who continue or who, who pursue the four-year integrated course. So uh, under um, preparation on the uh, education and preparation, the NEP advocates three types of uh, teachers education program. Teachers education program, which is Number one is the four-year integrated, uh, you know, integrated uh, program. One is uh, the four-year integrated BEDS, which is um, 
the minimum uh, degree qualification for teaching will be a four year integrated BA degree that teaches a range of knowledge, content and pedagogy and includes strong practical training in the form of students teaching at local schools by 2030. The second uh, type is the, the two years BA program, which will also be offered by the same multidisciplinary institutions offering the four-year integrated BA and will be intended only for those who have already obtained bachelor degrees in other specialized subjects. And the third program may also be suitably adapted as one year be a program and will be offered only to those who have completed the equivalent four year multidisciplinary bachelor degree or who have obtained a master degree in a specialty and wish to become a subject teacher in that specialty, uh, in, in that uh, discipline or in that subject. All such be a degrees would be offered only by accredited multidisciplinary higher education institution offering four-year integrated BA programs by 2030. All these programs, all these of, uh, three types of program will include training in time tested as well as the most recent techniques in pedagogy, including pedagogy with respect to foundational literacy and numeracy, multi-level teaching and evaluation, teaching children with disabilities, teaching to children with special interests of talents or talents, use of educational technology and learner-centered and collaborative learning. As I've mentioned before, all BA program will include strong practicum training in the form of in-classroom teaching at the local schools, and all BA program will also emphasize the practice of the fundamental duties, Article 51A of the Indian Constitution, along with other constitutional provision while teaching any subject or performing any activity. It will integrate environment awareness and, and sensitivity. It will also have shorter uh, a local teacher education program to be conducted at bite or at the diets or at the school complexes for eminent local person who can be hired to teach a school as master instructor. As you all know, Madam has already um, um, mentioned in her introduction where vocational education is uh, being emphasized by the NEP 2020. And this has to be taken care of in the teacher education institutions in the form of shorter teacher education program. And as she has also rightly mentioned, uh, mentioned about the pedagogical approaches, which has been mentioned. Uh, the NEP uh, speaks about, uh, you know, uh, the involvement of NCERT as the, as the research institution to undertake research to, to uh, compile the varied international pedagogical approach uh, internationally, and also to prepare a new and comprehensive curriculum framework. And on the basis of the national curriculum framework prepared by NCERT, the NCTE will also prepare the comprehensive national curriculum framework for teacher education, NCFTE 2021. This will be done uh, based on the principles of this national education policy. It is very important to mention about the National Curriculum Framework for Teacher uh, Education, NCFTE. Um, this will factor all the requirement of teacher education curricula for uh, vocational education, and it will be revised every five to 10 years 
by reflecting the changes in revised national curriculum framework, as well as the emerging needs in teacher education. Finally, in order to fully restore the integrity of teacher education system, stringent action will also be taken against substandard standalone teacher education institutions running in the country, including shutting them, shutting them down if required. This process is already started. Uh, the national curriculum framework has been, um, you know, has been worked out by NCTE, and uh, um, our faculty members have been also involved in the different activities in the NCTE. And um, um, this is uh, all about teacher uh, uh, training and uh, preparation. Now, coming to the next, that is teacher recruitment and deployment. For recruitment in the private or common college or common school, the teacher must qualify through TET, give a demonstration class, pass the interview, and have knowledge of local language. The NEP 2020 provides teacher eligibility tests and uh, uh, inculcate better test material both in terms of content and pedagogy. And the TETs will also be extended to all teachers covering the across, uh, across the stages, as Madam has rightly mentioned when she spoke about, uh, about the difference, uh, the structure which has um, proposed by the NEP 2020, the foundational, the preparatory, middle and secondary of school education. And for subject teachers, suitable TET, as well as the national test, uh, uh, national testing agency scores in the corresponding subject will also be taken into account for recruitment. So to assess passion and motivation for teaching, a classroom demonstration or interview will become compulsory and it will be an integral part of teaching of teachers hiring at the schools and the school complex. Um, one the very important um, um, uh, mention by the NEP also is, um, you know, on a technology-based comprehensive teacher recruitment uh, planning forecasting exercise, which will be conducted by each state to assess expected subject-wise teachers vacancies over the next two decades. As you all know, um, the, the government of India, the Ministry of Education has emphasized the central admission for all um, teacher education institutions and even at the higher education level, um, centralized um, um, admission will be done at the national level. So it is therefore very important for, for um, you know, for, for all of us to be uh, acquainted with these uh, comprehensive uh, teacher requirement uh, forecasting exercise so that uh, we can be part of the national level program. So these different initiatives in recruitment and deployment will be scaled as needed over time to fill all vacancies with qualified teachers, including local teachers with suitable incentive for career management and progression. Now, when, when we mention about local teachers, the NEP um, emphasize upon the local language and teachers will be transferred, will be posting, posted, only in, the, uh, in uh, the areas where they are comfortable with the language. And only those teachers who, who knows the language uh, of that particular area will be posted in the schools in that particular area. So this is the, emph the emphasis that is given by NEP 2020. And teacher education programs and offering will also align with the vacancies. Now, when it comes to uh, teaching career and professional uh, prof professionalism, 
um, the the NEP speaks about a common uh, guiding set of national professional standards for teacher NPST, which will be developed by 2022 by the NCTE for teacher education, along with uh, the, you know, with um, NCERT, SCERT, the universities, and all the steel stakeholders in the state. I, I must mention here, I will take this opportunity to inform you that the NCTE has, um, has written to uh, the university for, can, for consent to organize this very important program, the National Professional Standards for Teachers. And uh, they have fixed 15 as the date for this uh, important program, uh, which uh, you know everyone, all the stakeholders, the principals, the the principals of colleges, the um, the administrators, the teacher education institutions, the um, uh, you know all the stakeholders are to be involved in this program. Um, to you know, to uh, to frame to to bring out the standards, with uh, which would cover the role of the teachers at different levels, uh, at different levels of expertise or different stage, and the competencies required for that stage. And um, we are going to uh, from the university, we're going to send the invitation to everyone who can participate. Uh, online uh, because this will be a hybrid mode organized by uh, NCTE in collaboration with uh, uh, Northeastern Hill University, the School of Education. And um, uh, this um, um, guidelines, the guiding set that I have been mentioned is, um, you know, um, one is um, to, 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 to identify the expectation of the role of the teachers, then uh, in, uh, the national professional standards for teachers will also inform the design of pre-service teacher education program. This could be then adopted by the states and determine all aspects of teacher career management, including tenure, professional development efforts, salary increases, promotions, and other recognitions. Promotion and salary increases will not occur based on the length of tenure or seniority, but only on the basis of such appraisal. Then next comes a teacher audit of performance appraisal. As I have mentioned earlier, you know, the, the promotion will not be based on the length of tenure or seniority, but it will be based on the appraisal. So the professional standards will be, um, will be reviewed from time to time. And um, uh, this will be taken by special educators. Then the teacher audit or performance appraisal will also be carried at regular intervals where the teachers uh, will um, uh, themselves, uh, you know, appraise, uh, taking appraisal um, uh, from time to time based on their performance uh, in the, their uh, daily activity, ranging from uh, attending the, the uh, seminars, the workshops, and also conducting different programs as done by the higher education institutions. School teachers will also have to undergo 50 hours of uh, professional development opportunities every year to keep themselves uh, up to date by attending the workshops or online teacher development modules. Um, the, the main aim of these program is to shape uh, those who are, are really taking care of the, 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 the students, the children with a better determination also to uh, with an intention to provide them the skills and the positive attitudes, positive values for the impression on their students' 
bright future. So these traits in a teacher will begin to imbibe from an early stage of training to get a qualitative stance and efficient plan of action aiding the entire system. And hence, NEP opens the door of evolution for teachers' fraternity in India to be vocal and also get global. The new policy widens the scope of upgrading one competencies to stay industry relevant by conducting workshop seminars, online teacher development modules, which keeps the learning oil automatically applied to aspiring teachers. Uh, then the, uh, I'll just mention the paradigm shift in teacher education which we have already discussed. As per NEP, the teacher education institution will gradually be moved by 2030 to multidisciplinary colleges and universities. And a new and comprehensive national curriculum framework for teacher education, NCFTE 2021 will be formulated and will be in place soon. National professional teacher standards to set benchmark for expectation of the role of teacher standards will also be uh, part of it. And um, performance appraisal and in form of the design of pre-service teacher education. And also uh, for subject teachers, TET as well as National testing agencies, TESCO, in the corresponding subject will be considered for recruitment. And uh, as I mentioned, the new policy will uh, widen the scope of uh, widen the scope of upgrading one's competencies to stay under industry related uh, relevant um, by conducting different workshops. And uh, let us just see uh, uh, the, the challenges. I know uh, to implement such a, 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 a very um, de demanding policies, there are many challenges. First of all, is a political will. The government must master the political will and set up an autonomous independent agency that has the power to dare and change the present system of teacher education if a school must become what is being and the search of them in the NEP. There also the need for incremental and structural changes and not marginal and cosmetic ones. Teacher education institution to become an integral, integral part of multidisciplinary institutions of higher education will be the challenge for the state as it will involve financial implications. Offering the four-year in-class integrated BEAT program involves coordination of different disciplines and different uh, teacher education institutions. This will also be uh, you know, a challenge. To imbibe an early stage of training to get a qualitative stance and efficient plan of action aiding the entire system will also involve attracting young minds with good perks of salary to become a teacher, which the policy is silent here. So registering the integrated and disciplinary factors via the National Testing Agency for specialized subject, the national education policy will also consider aspects where the best training is provided, keeping in mind the current eligibility and further capability to prosper and get ahead in radiant manner. Now, in conclusion, I will go to the conclusion. Um, then uh, in conclusion, the new education policy 2020 is a forward looking document focusing on quality teachers training program. This is, um, you know, uh, this isn't the need of an arm. To, to restructure the training program and bring about the changes that is needed in the society. So for revolutionary change in our education, it is mandatory to bring about qualitative change in teacher education programs from early childhood care education to higher education. Motivation 
and empowerment of teacher is a key for successful and execution of new education policy. Thank you so much for, for, for this opportunity and for the time the, given to me. Uh, I'm so happy. Thank you so much once again. Thank you. Ms. Kongweer, we cannot hear you. Ms. Kongweer, we cannot hear you. No. Sorry. So thank you, Professor Nongri. At the outset, I would like to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for agreeing to be a resource person in this webinar because without you, we would have been nowhere. We know you're very busy, but you did not say no. And we are really thankful for that. And we hope that we will still continue to, uh, you know, to work together, to look up to you for guidance. If, you know, we are in any position to ask for help, we hope you will still say no. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. So, Professor Dongri had spoken about, you know, the challenges of, NEP 2020, as teachers, teaching is not a job, it's a vocation. And we see that stress and emphasis has been made on pre-service uh, teacher, teachers, the emphasis on you know, multidisciplinary uh, education and inclusive, uh, inclu uh, inclusiveness of you know, this policy. We hope that with all these, we will be able to lower the dropout rates that are so rampant and especially in our society. And we know that the government will always work towards the good of its people. There is no more valuable resource than human resource. And if we can, you know, we can educate people, education is the best form of empowerment. We will certainly grow by leaps and bounds. And therefore, now I wonder if there are any questions to be asked, I will hand over to Mantre. Ma'am, will you please take up some questions if there are questions? Yes. yes. Can I come up with a question, please? Yes, yes. please. Yes. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, your talk was really uh, comprehensive and you know we really got to the core of teacher education. And as uh, Ms. Kongwir has also said, you know, if the teachers are not trained enough, how can we think uh, for training the students? Teachers will have to upgrade ourselves and they have to be always willing to learn, ready to learn always. In fact, lifelong learning. A teacher's learning does not stop at B ed or M ed or whatever degree they get. It's a lifelong learning. One question that I have regarding this 2020 policy is this, what will be the medium of instruction in B ed colleges? Yes, so uh, I think uh, uh, the the medium of instruction um, it ha has not uh, is the NEP twenty twenty is, is silent on the instruction. So I think at this level, uh, you know, the English medium is, uh, is still the medium of instruction at a higher education level. So, but uh, you know, teaching at the school level, teaching at the school level. Uh, both um, English medium and also local language has to be uh, incorporated. Though it, it has, uh, the NEP has rightly mentioned that uh, teaching till class five, it has to be by mother tongue. And that is why um, the, the NEP 2020 speaks about um, um, uh, the, you know, the transfer of teachers has to be those teachers who know the language in the in the area, whether they are from uh, that particular area or those teachers who are from outside also who know the language. So that is the stress that has been made. But at the higher education level, I mean at the BA level, 
uh, English is still a medium of instruction. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Any other questions? Any other questions from the participants? Ma'am, I have a question for you. Yes, from, yes. It's from Mr. B.R. Upadhyaya. So as per you, ma'am, what are the challenges in implementing NEP 2020 in the state of Meghalaya? Million dollar question. There are too many challenges that we have. First of all, let me just say that, um, um, you know, teacher education in Meghalaya, we, uh, at the secondary level, we have very few uh, teacher education institutions. We have only five uh, in the whole state of Meghalaya, which, uh, you know, uh, as as you have rightly mentioned before, the, the, the uh, untrained teachers are so rampant in the state of Meghalaya that, uh, you know, even for pre-service teacher education at a, a BL level, two years program, they have to reserve about 50% for in-service teacher education to come to the institutions. Only 50% are taken from the purely pre-service uh, teachers. So this is a problem that we have. Uh, first of all, the problem that we have in Meghalaya. And to, uh, one very important um, uh, recommendation that was made was to convert them into multidisciplinary uh, teacher education institutions, which I know um, uh, all our teacher education institutions, uh, all our cities are moving towards that. But uh, uh, it is still a challenge because uh, financial uh, Yes. Um, financial implication is a problem and we all know the state government um, is yet to be uh, you know taken up uh, in this matter as mentioned the other day uh, when we had program in the university some of the principals had mentioned that how whether the state government is ready to take up you know uh, to implement the uh, NEP 2020 in the right spirit so this, this is just the beginning. And uh, we, we have many challenges to be, to, you know, to, to go ahead. Many challenges besides uh, what I have mentioned here, uh, we, we have many challenges, but uh, these should not be, you know, the stumbling block or the hindrance for us to go ahead. Because as you have rightly mentioned earlier on, the, um, you know, the, achievement of um, uh, sustainable development goals will be achieved only through the implementation of NEP 2020. Yes, it's a long way to go. And we really have to involve all the stakeholders, you know, from the administrators, to the teachers, to the community, parents, and all the stakeholders has to be involved, you know, for effective implementation of this program. Yes. I think I, I, I have answered the question. Some, yes, there are many, but just few of them. Yes, thank you, ma'am. I think Sir Baburam, your question has been answered. And anyway, like if anything new comes up, there will always be hiccups and problems, but then we'll have to, you know, try our best to see that it's implemented. And I think this is my question, ma'am. Will it not be difficult to teach certain subjects in the mother tongue, like science and all that? You know, we do not have a certain lexical equivalents. So how do we address this kind of problem? When uh, in, 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 fact, uh, in fact, they have not mentioned specifically to teach only in a mother tongue. But you know, uh, um, uh, as we all know, in the state of Meghalaya, we, we, we know that English is a medium of instruction, you know, uh, till uh, from, um, from the upper primary stage. From upper primary stage, uh, English is the medium of instruction. But if you go to the schools, you will find that teachers will teach uh, 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 
Kasi or Karu or along with English. I think it's um, a, a side by side or simultaneously it has to be taught by the uh, teachers. But emphasis is given to um, to mother tongue because um, I think in urban areas um, uh, the stress is more on English medium, which um, you know um, local language is being neglected or being ignored, so to say. So I think uh, it is not difficult because you will teach simultaneously English and Kasi or with the local language. Yes. 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 Thank you, ma'am. I have another question for you, ma'am. Yes. This is from Kitbop Nongkanti. Yes. I yes. want to know more about first year B. Ed. to obtain master degree in a specialty. So I want to know master degree in which subject are eligible for that? Master degree, oh, if you talk about BA program, if we talk about BA program, we know that uh, teacher has the, um, uh, teachers has those uh, methodology subject, isn't it? It can be social science, it can be life science, it can be physical science, you know? They, they will have uh, those uh, subjects uh, and if they are master in um, different uh, areas, then one the year will be uh, enough for them. But uh, depends when this NEP 2020 is, is really implemented in the true sense of the term. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ibok, I hope your question has been answered. So thank you for being with us, ma'am. No, thank no. you for being there. No, madam, madam, yes, madam, you want yes. to say. Yeah, ma'am, since you're in Nehu, has the ball started rolling? Yes, madam. It has uh, uh, started rolling. Um, as, you, uh, as you heard the other day, the uh, framework for uh, the um, UT level has been started and uh, uh, from our side also in the School of Education we have um, you know planned to uh, since long we have uh, moved for um, uh, uh, four year integrated uh, program we have uh, tried uh, uh, we have had studies or workshop to to, con uh, to frame the syllabus for a four year integrated course but uh, after uh, NEP 2020 is being announced, they said that we have to wait for the model uh, curriculum from, from NEP 2020. Oh, sorry, from, uh, from uh, NCTE. So then only we will be able to. Yes, the work has been started. And, you know, that's, yes, and the that's right a good work. sign. That's a good sign that we are moving forward. <laughs> and probably by, uh, by next year, uh, the UG syllabus will be in place um, for all the subjects with uh, CBC as uh, structure. I, I, I just hope, I'm, I'm positive, I'm positive that this will be done. Mm. Ma'am, since, since you're a member, member of the body, I would request you to take the college teachers into consideration, their sure. suggestions, because yes, they're yes. in the field, they are the ones who are going to teach. So if you take the college teachers into consideration, that will make more sense, I think so, ma'am. Please in in fact, you. in fact, what we have been doing in the School of Education, yes, we have uh, uh, the workshops yes. by the yeah. by the you know teachers in the relevant subject. Yes. But let me let me in, let me tell you also. Last time when we when we had series of programs, we invited the teachers from um, uh, from the colleges, and it is very very encouraging and inspiring that yes I, many I have turned up that. they have turned up and they have um, uh, you know um, work uh, tirelessly to to have the to have the, the curriculum in their own subject but but a big but coordination has to be done by the different department in the university 
that's true that's so, true uh, those uh, you know sub, you know subject areas they have to take care about what they have been doing so we get stuck there this is yes. one and another thing is uh, uh, cbcs is yet to be implemented at the at the college level so now uh, the university is in right earnest to implement cbcs so i hope uh, with the implementation of cbcs in the uh, in the you know in the college level then we can implement uh, nep 2020 okay. mm. thank you ma'am thank you so much thank you so much. for clearing all our doubts one last question for you ma'am <laughs> yes yes ma'am what do you think of certain states like tamil nadu opposing the nep and saying they will not implement it is it possible since it's only a policy and not a law mm. yes i know uh, uh, we have been uh, you know one of our one of our teacher also here in uh, the department of education he always emphasized nep why you are talking about N nep 2020 it has not become a law it has not been passed in the parliament also you know by both the houses of parliament uh, but uh, I won't comment on the other states. I won't comment anything on the other states. But uh, yes. what I feel that uh, once, uh, you know, uh, the policy is uh, is passed by one the house of the parliament, I don't think there will be a problem to become a law. And uh, looking at the, mm -hmm. you know, at the steps taken by government of India, you know, uh, if you look at the uh, different bodies like NCTE, UTC, what action that has been taken, uh, I, I don't doubt that an EP 2020 will be implemented in the country. And, and so far as I know, ma'am, the, the judiciary cannot interfere into the government policy. So policy will go on. And it is okay. just this... The policy will go on, ma'am, because the judiciary cannot interfere into it. Because policy, when it was made, it was it has taken you know the uh, all the stakeholders' opinion, and then they have to come into this decision. Now, all these people who are against the NEP 2020, they're actually they only have half baked understanding, as I say, it's, it's half baked knowledge, and and you know they, uh, they are. Uh, they they think that Hindi will be imposed upon them, but there is there is no such thing in the policy whereby it says that Hindi will be the medium of instruction. Flexibility is there, so one has to read the the policy very carefully and interpret it in that manner, probably. <laughs> and we have no choice. Yeah, we, have no choice. we really have no choice, actually. We have no choice. Uh, and if it is and if it is for the betterment of the country and our students, I think we should go forward. I know. Why should we lag behind? That's what I feel. And because the, this policy, if you see, you know, many things have been taken from foreign countries, you know, all developed countries. And if they can do it, why can we not do? Mm -hmm. you know, and and our youth has to. And youth is the focus, focus group here. If they are not uh, qualified enough, then we cannot call ourselves a developed country. So see, look at China. Look at China, you know, they learn all the languages and they go all, all over the country, all over the world. And, you know, they are self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. And, you know, by, by the very fact that last year we had to experience so much about Corona, how developed they are. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I still have two more questions, ma'am. Yes, okay, good. okay. Good, good. Is it really possible as well as desirable to go for research in the mother tongue. Yes. The yes, why developed. not? Yes. The language has to be developed. With, without yes. the NEP 2020 also, mm -hmm. that is the going on, isn't yes. it? Yes. So. Anyway, I'm a student of English language education, and mm -hmm. I think I was told by my teachers that if I do not speak my mother tongue well, I will never be able to speak English yes. as well. That is true. That's that true. Is Another true. question for you, ma'am. Ma'am, in our state with large unemployment problems, in what way the NEP 2020 will help solve this problem? I think uh, that is uh, the main focus of NEP 2020 also when they um, uh, 
not only um, bringing, uh, the, as Madam has rightly mentioned in the beginning, that uh, the policy, uh, the the main aim of policy is to 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 know to bring uh, uh, India at par with the uh, other uh, countries, developed countries in the world. And uh, one of the problems that we faced, yes, uh, um, Sonita, is the is the is an unemployment problem. So the emphasis that is being made by the NEP of introduction introduction of vocational education from class five, that itself, uh, you know, point, point out towards diversify the, the, the talents, the interests of the students, you know, right from their young age. So yes. that uh, we yes, will not right be now. only for a white color job. But we will do many things, you know, uh, which interests or which um, which uh, really um, uh, the need uh, uh, the of the society and the uh, interests of the students. Yes, I think. Uh, yes, I think the emphasis on skills. Yeah, is something that is in the right direction. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so, so much. So, can we say that all questions have been answered? Okay. So once again, ma'am, I thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We are so yeah, grateful you. for you that you have been with us in spite of your tight schedule. Thank and you. And we so hope much. this is the first of many, many more to come. Yes. yes. Thank, thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you. You have too. And I uh, wish uh, a, a very good thank delivery you. of the... I won't be able to attend the whole day because, you I, know, I have some other business. commitment. But I wish you all the best for the next two days. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, so you so much. much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. We have come to the end of the first technical session of the national webinar on national education policy 2020, a paradigm shift. We have we hope you have all benefited from the deliberations under the aegis of you know our resource person, Professor C. Nongbri. Thank you for attending and for being very interactive. We will now hand over the sessions to Mantri and we will wait for that till the next session till the lunch break. Thank you. Uh, just a small uh, announcement. Uh, we will join at join back at 2 p.m. So please join us again at 2 p.m. after the lunch break. Thank you.